Oi, pessoal, and welcome to Aracaju, a small city you may not have heard of in northeast Brazil. I just got here, and people are telling me that today they're actually having a local carnival event. I always wanted to go to carnival in Brazil. I missed it in Rio. Let's go check this one out. Oh, we got Let's go and explore the rest of this city. 
Aracaju. All right, good morning, bon dia. Because after the carnival, I actually went home, just got lazy. But uh, today's a new day. Brazilians tell me that Aracaju is like the calm city of the Northeast. It's a lot less dangerous than cities like Salvador and Recife. This is one of the most iconic parts of the city, the big crab. The state symbol. You get a lot of good seafood here. Because let's face it, you're gonna get crabs in Brazil. You may as well get them here in Aracaju. Okay, it's time for me to get back to the road trip that I'm currently doing through Northeast Brazil. But since the last time you saw me, I had a few problems. While I was driving from the state of Bahia into Sergipe, the state that I'm currently in, a guy behind me thought it would be a good idea to just not hit the brakes at all. And you can see the results right here. But yeah, thankfully I had full insurance on the car, so I didn't have to pay any additional cost. When they ask you if you want to pay extra money for that insurance in Brazil, it's not that expensive, and you better pay for it. You can see why. Because the only drawback is I had to trade in the, uh, the all-American Chevrolet for a Toyota. Alright. And yes, that was Japanese. At some point, we're definitely going to go to Japan on this channel, and it's going to be awesome. But that's going to be later. For now, we got to keep on the road trip in Brazil. There's still a lot to see. The next big stop is Recife, the fourth biggest city of Brazil. Let me see how far away that is. Ah, seven hours and 49 minutes. Caralho! Well, I guess I got a very long day ahead of me. Vamos lá. Brazil has states, just like the United States. And Sergipe, the one that I was just in, is actually the smallest one. It's like Rhode Island, Brazil. The one I'm going into now is Alagoas. And, uh, to be honest, I don't really know anything about that state. Gasolina? Gasolina é comum. Ok, uh, quero gasolina comum. Pode encher o tanque? É dinheiro, cartão? Uh, cartão. Crédito ou débito? Crédito. No crédito, agora no crédito aqui ela está de 7,74. 7,74. É, 7,9 dinheiro ou débito? Ok, é dinheiro então. Dinheiro? Ok. Ah. Completar, né? Sim. Escrapa, me falou? Ok. Obrigado. Sim. Everybody's so friendly in Brazil. About four hours in. Gotta get up and stretch a bit. Something that really sticks out to me as I'm driving through northeast Brazil is that everything is either farmland or a town. There's like no unused land. There's no forests. Everything has been converted into either farmland or a city. And I guess that makes sense. In Brazil, as you may have heard, they have a shortage of land. Because half the country is covered by the Amazon rainforest. And controversially, they're in the middle of burning down that, too. like another 10 hours we finally made it to Recife oh this is the building I'm staying in tonight nice ok 
Okay. Wow. Check out this view. Whew. If that skyline is anything to go by, it feels like Recife is the big city of the region. What do we got in here? Red Bull, a beer, and a lot of water. And some snacks, still, with a personal message. All that for $50. Gotta love Northeast Brazil. All right, I'm gonna settle in and see what we can find in Recife tomorrow morning. Boa noite. All right, good morning from Recife. One of Brazil's biggest cities. Now it's interesting. I was asking this girl I know here, what is there to see in Recife? What's cool to film around here? And her answer kind of surprised me. She said, have you seen our big penis? And now gentlemen, normally when a girl in South America tells you that, you're about to be in for a big surprise. Okay. Hey, but not in this case. Here in Recife, there really is a monument of a giant phallus, and it's very famous. It's one of the cornerstones of the city. And to do Recife justice, I think we gotta go and try and find it. Okay. I feel like no matter where you go in this country, you're never that far from a beach. Like every city has a beach. It's as if every city in this country is Miami. I mean, except for Manaus. A bunch of Miamis and the Amazon rainforest. That's Brazil. Onde compraram o coco? Aqui. Olá. Coco. Sim. Não está gelado. Não está gelado? Ah, está frio. Gelado não está não. Está bem, está bem. É igual para mim. O que é isso? Você adiciona? Cachaça. Cachaça, ok. Cachaça. Só não está saindo a impressão, né? This is kind of cool, and you see this all over Brazil. I saw this in Rio de Janeiro also. At the bus stops, they got pull-up bars. They got whatever you call this to do dips. You got like a full gym while you're waiting for your bus. Very, very Brazilian, but I like it. Hold on. Alright, anyway, apparently the big penis statue is on the other side of town. It's gonna take a little while to get there. I hope you can appreciate that I have very high standards for the content on this channel. I'm always like walking through a parade of people playing drums wherever I go in Brazil. Alright, I was told the, uh, the big penis is somewhere around here. I'm not really sure how to go up to people and start asking about that. So much excitement, always, in Brazil. Hey, como é que Me dizem que tem um pênis grande perto daqui, muito famoso. Sabe de onde está? Sabe de onde vem, não? É, é, talvez. Oh, é, é isso? Apparently, that's the penis right there. 
there. Seems to be under construction. I think they're doing like a vasectomy. I wonder if you can get there. Ah, uh, oi, do you know? Get over there! O penis! Man! Como chega? Você sabe? Oh, tem barcos. Você quer ir comigo? Pode me mostrar? Love Brazil. Let's go. Oh, é isso lá. Private island. I guess it's been here for 20 years or something. 20 years. Yeah. Wow. You've had this shaft standing here for 20 years. Oh. Okay, it is. It can cut your fingers if it bites. Oh. That's what just Alright, well he's violently killing that fish. Let's go take a look at the little, uh, little statues we have there. So they made these statues to celebrate the 500 years of the discovery of the country. Oh. And he has made a lot of other sculptures of like snakes. But this is the most big one. Okay. It's right in the middle of the town, and like everything happens here. I mean, not exactly here, but right there. Oh. So this is always the background. Most of the history of Recife took place over there. Yeah. A very Brazilian way of celebrating 500 years of history, erecting a giant penis that you can see from most of the city. I get you, Brazil. I see what you did there. Está constatando. Okay. É como uma uma cirurgia no pênis. Oh man. See, you can't have a shaft that big. Standing around, not being showing up. Oh, cafe, oh, cafe. Ah, there we go. Todos os dias eu trago o pessoal só de bichinho aqui, rapaz. É muito. Não tem nem como voltar. Nem água, nem água. Papá chegou. Papá chegou com a comida. Você leva comida para eles todo dia? Todo dia eu trago. Quando a gente vem de longe já vem correndo. Oh, ok. Muito amigável. Vai, fiquem com Deus. Amém. Alright, the sun is starting to set in the beautiful city of Recife. Which means, I think we got to get back to land. Você está subindo? Come on, strong man. Aí, pronto. Pesado. Você, muito forte. Pesado, pô. Aí, tranquilo. Olha o que 
Time's up for you. Vocês uh, vieram para ver o pênis também? Isso. Ah, sim. Vocês vão ali, olha. São Paulo. Vocês. São Paulo. Oh, é bom ir a São Paulo. Eu só queria aqui, sim. Ah, obrigada. Eu sou dos Estados Unidos. Ah, obrigada. Você já veio para o Brasil alguma vez? Entendi português? Entendo. Tinha gasolina. Tinha gasolina. Pega os remos aí. Very last boat. Back to the mainland. Agora não tem gasolina, ok. Vamos. Aqui não tem tubarão, meu amor. Vamos ter que nadar? Não, agora. Almost there. We can do it. No, we can't. <laughs> oh. Obrigado. Onde pago? Oi. Ainda não paguei nada. É aqui. Paga aí lá. Okay, okay. Hey, this is great. These nice ladies that I just met next to the giant phallus. We're all gonna go together to eat dinner now. A nice traditional Kasife meal. Vamos. Podemos brincar uma vez mais. Sim, sim, sim. A, ami... a amizade da Bilola. Gostoso. É. Você nunca tomou caipirinha? Ah, tomou. Você nunca tomou caipirinha? Oh, tomei. Tomei muito. Tomou. Tomei como 100. Uh... Isso aí, como 101. They tell me that this state is like the Texas of Brazil. Yes, because we're very proud of this state, but not really of the country. Okay. That's yeah, it? Yeah, and yeah, like in history we have tried to be independent like three times. Yeah. And we lost like a lot of territory to other states because of that. And right now we are just part of ourselves. But we have a country. We say Pernambuco is a like its own country. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Recife, Pernambuco, the Texas of Brazil. They do their own damn thing. You see, this is why you talk to strangers. Look, I got like a tour guide here now. She's even got her glasses on, explaining intelligent things. It's great. Muito bom. Adoro Brasil. So I admit, you never quite know what to expect on this channel. Always very mature video topics, as you may know. But what a nice trip it's been. Got to see my first carnival. Met some friendly locals exploring the city of Recife and we just had another nice day here in the Northeast. It's been great. We got one more stop left on this road trip and I'm hoping you join me again for that one. Until then. Boa tarde. We are at the state line of Brazil. It divides Pernambuco from João Pessoa. We're about to drive to the most eastern point in the Americas. Let's go. So a little pro tip for you if you come to Brazil and rent a car and you drive it on the highways. The Brazilian drivers love to tailgate you and they really tailgate like they get right up on your bumper it doesn't matter how fast you're going you could be going like 120 miles per hour 160 km whatever they won't stop they'll play fast and furious with you so it's best to just get into the right lane okay this is supposed to be the place i really hope this won't be underwhelming after all this driving I'm not sure what's up with all the roadblocks here. Isn't it whenever you see this in Brazil, that means a bunch of guys are gonna come out with guns and rob you? Wow. Look at this. Wow, we did it, guys. This is it. You can't go any further east than this in the Americas. This right here, Ponto de Sextas. 
looking out across that ocean. Big, beautiful ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. We are closer to Africa than we are to the United States. And in fact, that's not even that interesting. We are closer to Africa here than we are to the other end of Brazil. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I love the world, man. Little facts like that. dreamt of going to what you could call the ends of the earth. The most extreme places, the most remote places on the map. It's places that no one else goes. I would just see these places on the map and wonder to myself, what would it be like to be at the very end of South America? Or at least one of them. And what happens is, you arrive and these places they can never quite live up to the grandiose expectations you've set in your head. But the journey and the adventure that you had getting to that place still makes it all worth it. Now let's find a way to get all the way down to that beach. Oh, yeah. Daqui? Sim. Aqui é só aqui, aí desce, tem um restaurante lá embaixo, agora sendo que a parte mais central fica um pouco distante, fica um, um quilômetro e meio, dois quilômetros. Quilômetro e meio. A parte central da praia, entendeu? Aqui é a oh. parte mais distante. Oh, ok. Entendeu? Entendo. Okay. Pronto. Obrigado. Ok, so apparently, if I want to get to the beach without having to do some rock climbing, got some walking to do. Okay, here's the beach right here. It says right here that you can pick up your own private trash bag right here. In an effort to encourage community cleanup. I like it. Good job, Brazil. Good job, João Pessoa. O primeiro sol das Américas. The first sunrise in the Americas. I like that, that's pretty cool. I'm guessing somebody's going to be over shortly to ask me to pay for this. Okay. Oh, está tirando agora. Mas pode esperar vamos 10 minutos. Obrigado. I love that about Brazil. The flexibility of the rules in Brazil. A blessing and a curse. In this case, a blessing. Postre. Okay. Cerveja. Oh. Como, como se chama isto? É usta. A usta. Oh, it's the, okay, see, uh, get a one. Sour, zit. Sour? Uh, sour, yeah, zit. Get a limon? Limon, come Yeah, that was nice. He even gave me a bonus oyster. There we go. Oysters, olive oil, and salt. Oh. Not bad. Tá puxando muita água. 
Tá puxando muito a água. Can't go wading in the water at the moment. So yeah, that reminds me. I gotta get back to Africa. Still a lot of countries to see. This is the end of our road trip to Brazil's northeast. Before I leave the country, before I leave South America, there's still one major place I gotta go. I gotta check out the big city, the big, big city of Brazil.